Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us move on to the next cycle which is the oxygen cycle. So even before we talk about the oxygen cycle, what is oxygen and in what amount is it present in our atmosphere? So 21% of the Earth's atmosphere is oxygen. So maximum is nitrogen and the next is oxygen. And as we all know that oxygen is, the, is one of the most important gas which is needed for living organisms because oxygen plays the crucial role in respiration. And without respiration, living organisms cannot survive. Now, as far as existence is concerned, oxygen occurs in combined form in Earth's crust as well as in air in the form of carbon dioxide. So, oxygen has the ability to make oxides, that is it can combine with other elements to form their oxides. For example, it combines with carbon to form carbon dioxide, it combines with hydrogen to form water, it combines with nitrogen to form nitrogen oxides and so on. So, in the combined form, it exists as oxides. It is an important component of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and nucleic acids which are basic building block of all life forms. So let us now talk about the oxygen cycle. Now again oxygen cycle is that cycle which maintains the levels of oxygen in the atmosphere. So again we will basically talk about the processes which give oxygen to the atmosphere and again those processes which take away oxygen from the atmosphere. So let us first talk about the processes where oxygen gets used up from atmosphere. Oxygen is taken up from the atmosphere. So first such process would be combustion. So any burning takes place only in presence of oxygen. So for burning or combustion to take place you need oxygen. Respiration which happens in all living organisms, both plants and animals, where oxygen is taken up to oxidize the food, which is generally in the form of glucose. And the food is oxidized to release carbon dioxide, water and a lot of energy. So this is how food gets converted to energy and this process happens only by intake of oxygen. So this is another important process by which oxygen is taken up from the atmosphere. Besides that, formation of oxides, like formation of nitrogen oxides. Now, you would have seen that the atmospheric nitrogen, that is, uh, that is not in usable form by plants or animals. So, the nitrogen gets converted into ammonia, then nitrites, then nitrates. So, all these nitrites, nitrates, they often form the oxides and to form oxides, they need oxygen. So, whenever any other element want to form its oxides, it tries to combine with oxygen. So, when it combines with oxygen, it is basically taking up oxygen from the atmosphere. So these are three basic areas where oxygen gets used up from the atmosphere. The primary thing still being respiration. Now how do how is oxygen given back to the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis because in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is taken up from the atmosphere and it combines with water to form food in the form of glucose and a byproduct is oxygen along with a lot of energy. So oxygen is released in the process of photosynthesis. So oxygen and respi photosynthesis and respiration, they are like reverse processes. Respiration takes up oxygen from atmosphere and photosynthesis gives back oxygen to the atmosphere. Now if you look at this uh, diagram, you see uh, atmospheric oxygen is used up during respiration. Now in respiration what happens? In case of respiration, along with oxygen, as a result of respiration, carbon dioxide and water are the products. So if you see here, in respiration, carbon dioxide and water are the products. Now in photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are the reactants. That is, they both combine to form oxygen. So it is as simple as that. Now when you talk about and at the result of photosynthesis is C6H12O6, which is glucose. And this glucose is the reactant for respiration. So that these two processes, photosynthesis and respiration, these two processes themselves explain the entire oxygen cycle. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.